Hi, I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. Boxing is so much fun. Uh, it used to be that you could only hit heavy bags or hit pads if you went to a, a boxing gym, like a place that only did boxing. But now it's becoming increasingly more popular to have boxing kind of sprinkled into the workouts or have your trainer be able to box with you, which I think is fabulous. But it has brought in a lot of people asking me, why their knee hurts when they're pivoting and which everybody that comes to me with that problem they're very shocked because you think of boxing as being an upper body thing and even though they tell you to stand this way and you know you're, you're you are moving your whole body you really only think about injuries of boxing being an upper body and an upper body injury specifically more shoulder and wrist right well it isn't that uncommon to have knee pain when you're pivoting. And so in this video, I wanna go over um, what can be causing the knee pain and then how you can get rid of that knee pain. So, so that we can all calm our minds down and not blame our poor knees on just being weak. Because, and that, you know, that's what a lot of people do. They go in, they go to box because they know that their legs are weak and they always have knee problems or knee pain. And this is just one more thing that gets added on to their bad knees. Well, it's not your knees, okay? So let, let, but let's talk about a few reasons that your knees would have extra stress while you're boxing. So if you go, the first thing they try to tell, they, they teach you is how to stand. And they want you to stand with your feet a little separated and a little bit on a diagonal. And then the back leg, you should be up on your toe and you should be kind of squatted down. And so just this position for many people is more thigh muscle use than a lot of people get on a daily basis. So depending on how long you're in doing your punches, just being in this position might be causing a little strain. The other thing is, is, is the fact that you're putting all on one, you know, all your weight on one leg and maybe not keeping it distributed evenly. Um, and so, which is very common because you, you think that if you're up on this toe, you shouldn't have any weight on it. Um, it depends on kind of what you're doing, on whether or not you want to put weight on the front or the back leg. But anyway, it just depends on how long you're just stuck statically like this is, is normally one cause for people to have some knee pain. The, another thing that can be a cause is when, if you, if you get tired, excuse me, I forgot. So if you get tired and you stand up and now you're, you're throwing punches with your legs in a very straight position, that twisting motion can be adding extra stress to your knee. So, so just those two positions, right? If you should be in this position for most of your time. This can be stressful, but even if you had to stand and be fully extended with your knees and you were doing this over time, you can be irritating your knee. So again, it is better for you to be in this position but, you know, especially when you're new, it's very hard to stay in this position. Think about what punches you're supposed to throw. Just a lot to think about. <laughs> and so, but, but if your knee's bothering you, just pay attention to where you are and see what, what may be the problem for you. The other thing is your ankles. So when you're pivoting, again, you're on the ball of this back foot. So what happens if, and you just saw my knee do it, right? So if you roll your ankle in, if you tend to be on just your big toe, then your knee's coming in and that angle on your knee causes a lot of stress on the inside of that knee. For some people though, they actually prefer to be on the outside of their ankle. They feel like they have more stability, which again, if you see what happened to my knee, now it's bowing out and that can put a lot of stress on the outside of your knee. And now lastly, the, the other culprit for knee pain can be your hip. So if one hip is not strong enough when you're, when you're on one leg and your hip drops out one side or, or drops to the other way, that, if you see my knee, right, depending on what happens with my hip, my knee also changes position. And depending on how, what's happening at your hip, you could be adding extra stress, especially if you think about all of that happening in a dynamic motion because you're gonna be turning and pivoting and bringing that hip forward. And if your ankle's here and you're driving it forward, see how much that can cause some stress 
And it doesn't have to be as dramatic as I'm making it in this video. Just those little irritations over time can be what's adding stress to your knee. So now all the doom and gloom is over. Let's talk about how we fix this. The first thing I would try is making sure you have really good footwear. Because as I showed you, if you don't have the proper ankle support, that immediately can cause a lot of strain on your knee. Plus it allows you to have a little bit more bounce in your step while you're working out. So whatever shoe support you need to make your foot feel better and to feel more stable, that's what you should go with. Icing after your workout, there is no shame in icing for 10 minutes. In fact, I would consider it a sense of pride that you worked out so hard that you have to ice like the professionals afterwards. Just 10 minutes can take away so much of the fluid and inflammation that's caused just from working out that you might notice that your knees don't bother you as much. Third, I would try stretching. I know it's just boxing and it's upper body and why should you have to stretch your legs? But if you're having knee pain, then I would try stretching your legs. So stretch the front of your legs, stretch the back of your legs, stretch your hip muscles. Just get a good overall stretch afterwards. You might be surprised at how much that will reduce the, the after effects and the soreness the next day. Third, let's say you tried stretching, but you need something with a little bit more oomph. Massages are absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I would highly suggest a sports massage because they're gonna get a little deeper and maybe do some stretches for you that will get you a little bit more of an aggressive you know, stretch than what you can do to yourself or would do to yourself. Uh, so then the next thing is, if you've tried a bunch of those and you just can't pinpoint what it is that's happening and it's just making it to where going to work out isn't as fun as it should be, then call a movement professional like myself because that's all I do all day. All I do is look at how people are moving, find out what the root cause of why things are going off, and then we address that specific issue. We come up with specialized plans that only address what it is that your goal is. You want to get back to pivoting without pain. That's all we got we work with. And then as a last suggestion, let's say you're just looking for more tips on how to make your knee stop hurting while you're working out. I have a free ebook where I put all my best tips. I get asked a lot of questions uh, very frequently. So I've put those tips in this ebook. And so, if you'd like, I can certainly send that over. Um, there's just a quick form that goes with that and then I email that over for you. Well, I hope that these tips, um, one, explain what's going on with your knee and then um, gives you some things that you can start doing right now to help your knee from hurting the next time you go um, and box. Have a great day.